Okay, so we're on a little day out today. My wife Sam's at work, so I'm with the boys and we have come to Aerospace Bristol where they have a Concorde. Um, iconic uh, plane that was just built just across the road over there. And um, actually the last Concorde to land is in here and it landed on that runway just over there. And it's now a sort of building site. You might be seeing the background a bit of rubble. Um, and it's housed in this museum behind me. There's a museum with the aerospace collection in it behind. And uh, further behind that, there's a big shed which has got the um, Concorde, Concorde in. And I say, about the Concorde. I say a big shed because basically it's quite an ugly building. An ugly? It doesn't Ama have any windows. Amazing, uh, it doesn't have any windows. Amazing <laughs> plane, but they know. built a kind of, kind of, it's in an old World War I hangar for the aerospace collection. But the actual um, plane oh, itself is just chucked no. in a, a rubbish, ugly looking hangar. I think they could have done it a bit more justice than they have. But anyway, that's beside the point. We're going to go and have a look. It's a fantastic place. Jack we've just before. farted in front of we've that. We've got um, I didn't. we've got free entry because these tickets valid for years. So we're going to go in and have a look at the collection. Woo. Let's go. It's all wrong way. What do you think of this outfit? It's still here. Concord at 50, look. Daddy, what do you think here. of that? Wow. Okay, so let's go. Oh, Harry, we've been distracted. Well, look at this first. Yeah, I bet. Mm. Right, well, let's exit through the gift yeah. shop. Let's keep going. Let's go. Right. Come on, Harry. Off we go. In we go. That's an old tram. Look, if we get, this is really interesting. It's one that's found in a garden. Should we go around the other side and see what it's like? That's been restored this side. What's it like on the other side, I wonder? Is it still in good nick? Oh, it is. Oh, no, look. They're still working on this side. It's got a big hole in it. Wow. Is this what they used to... Oh, there's a massive propeller. Yeah. Lots of things in here. Now I, I, what are we going to look at first? There's lots of see. Obviously we're going to really see Concord, but we'll have a quick look at the stuff in here. Wow. Okay, so we are in the um, Aerospace Museum, which is the kind of collection, I think, of, of planes that were built in Bristol, um, right from the early days, right through to sort of fairly modern times. Um, so it's kind of a two-part museum. Uh, this bit is the kind of history of the uh, development of the planes. Then the Concorde is actually in a separate building altogether, and we're going to go and look at that one in a minute. Um, oh, but it's a completely different thing coming with kids. I, I could spend hours here just reading all the labels, but I think we're going to flick through. Harris has spotted a machine gun up on that plane up there. I'm going to flick through, um, it's probably fairly, fairly quickly through this before we end up in Concorde. Um, but I must admit, I find this place really interesting. And Daddy, you yes. can tell the both English because the little circle on the side counts as English. No, yeah, it does. Uh, you're very right. And that one has There's a circle. On it too. As I was saying, I'm uh, I'm not on a freebie promoting this place. I'm just here because it's um, local to where I live. But well worth a visit if you're travelling down to Bristol. Um, Especially seeing Concorde because you can get. We're going to go inside that in a bit. Um, but it's a, t it's a two. It's a two level. There's a lot of kids stuff here, but there's a lot of stuff for adults. I keep looking around because there's so much to see. But they're walking on in front of me. I got a feeling we'll be flicking through this really quickly. thought I'd film the roof because this is a very old hangar uh, and you can see the remains of the hangar the roof there um, I think it's World War One and it was restored probably with lottery funding I imagine um, to make this museum but I came here and actually flew out of here in an aeroplane 
on a friend with a friend of mine back here sort of 20 years ago when it was used by um, a flying club. Pretty big. Wow, look at that. Wow. I don't think that's Concorde, Harry. We're not there yet. No, that's not Concorde. No. That's a Blenheim bomber. Wow. So this is a World War II sort of exhibition here. Let's have a look what we got through here. Lots of engine. Big bomb. Big bomb there. English, English. Size of that? Ow, An exploded what? bomb dropped on Filton in the air age of 1940. It could wow. explode right now. It's a plane. Wait, that could explode? Yeah. I don't think it'll explode somehow. Wow, look at this engine here. Oh, I'm gonna look at this stuff. Pegasus engine. There's another engine over there. Mm. Whoa, look at these. Size of those wheels. Be... Someone could just touch, go over and touch it. Well, I think you're allowed to. Huh? Can I touch it? Wow. Britannia. Wow. This is... I know, we're going to go and see everything. There's loads to see here. It's ace. I love it. It's got the plane. Go out the plane, go out the plane. Oh my god. Is that the plane? That's probably what the. That's probably wow. look what the. So we got this. This is a Britannia. Yeah, you Can't you sit in the seats now? No. Oh, they stop you sitting in the seats. Perhaps they're getting worn out. It did look What's it like funny. inside? It's got a really funny smell, hasn't it? Yes. Wow. I wouldn't want to do that. What? Do what? Do that control. What? Fly the plane? No, I'll take a picture seats. of you and Harry out here. You're going to take a picture of me and Harry out there? Yeah. Okay. Cool car, no, I think it's a Saab. I don't know, actually, no, it could be a Bristol. It's probably a Bristol. No, you can see the back. What does it say there? What does it say there, Jack? Bristol. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's, it's a cool car. What about, what about that missile? John. Look at that. You like. What about size this plane here? That's oh, a helicopter. Bristol. Look, all these things are made in Bristol. Yeah. It's amazing. Can't you see it's a massive helicopter. It's a massive helicopter as well, isn't it? Yeah. And look at this. What do you think that is? A plane. What sort of plane? It's a jet. It's a jet. What sort of jet? Harriet Jump Jet. <gasps> How do you know that? I think I know everything. How do you know that, Harry? I didn't think. Is it a Harry Jump Jet? No, yeah, it's a Harriet Jump Jet. A Harriet Jump Is that like the female version of a Harry? A Harriet. Yeah, it's a Harriet. A Harriet jump jet. A Harrier. Harrier jump jet. That is a legendary plane. I didn't think Harry would know what that was. You can see inside. We are in Filton. This is exactly. Oh, is it? We've got time left. And we got our puzzle keys for the plane. Oh, yeah, well, we might need those later. Oh, atomic bomb keys. Hmm. Look at that. We saw. Secret Filton. Was there such a thing? Oh, it looks like there was. Whew. And this is probably part of it. What? This is part of what? Right. Okay, so we're pretty well. We're flicking through this quick. We're gonna. I'm gonna have a little break. We're gonna have a cup of tea, I think, or something. Well, I will. Uh, I will. <laughs> I'm not going to film any more in here because you can see this yourself if you want to visit. Oh, We're going nice. to go and see Concord now, Excuse which is me, just the, the best bit, really. Greatest hits. I, this is talk about highlights. This is I'm flicking through this, but because we we've, we've already been once, soldier. we don't need to spend hours going through every little last bit. But um, we're going to see Concord now. That's a bomb, I think. That's a rocket. Dad, is that, that, a bomb? Is, that is a rocket. Yeah, that's a that's a space rocket, Skylark Twelve. Oh, right. heading towards Concorde slowly. How could you fit in there, though? I don't think anyone fitted in there. It's a satellite there. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, so we have stopped in the cafe. <laughs> Jax is <just> afflicted. <laughs> it's just like... Oh, I better not tell him why I've got a feeling Mum's going to be glad oh, that you're back at school. Lid. Right, so what, how, how have you found this museum? Would you rate it? Is it a good museum? A 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? <laughs> how many marks out of 10? What, what do you think of the museum? That's not even seen Concord yet. No. Harry's, what do you think? I'm just thinking, it's let me have another hour. Well, we haven't got another hour, we've got to go to McDonald's after this. He rates it a 10. Another 5 hours. Another 30 seconds, otherwise turning the camera off. 30 seconds, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Can you count to 30, please? 1. Oh, Two. no. I'm not waiting that long. 10. How long? Correct, my dog. 10 seconds. 10, 9, ah. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 1. 1. How is it? Camera's going off, quick. Is that marked out of 10? A 10. Whee! Can't speak. Right. To Concord, this way. Dun dun dun. Uh, so, this is the actual building it's in, and as you can see what I mean, it's, it's just a pretty nondescript big old block of a building. Well, maybe that's to, to, because Concord doesn't need any showiness, but. I think it'd be nice to put something outside here a little bit more interesting than there's the old hangar. It really does look like a hangar from the outside more than the inside, I think. Um, but it, <laughs> they're off. Um, there's the old control tower for uh, taking off and landing on this uh, runway. And they've gone on in, so let's get going. Here we go. Here we are then, look at this. Dum dum dum. Don't turn them Concord yet, Colin. Don't turn them Concord yet, I've already turned it on, Harry. Not yet. Oh, what? Am I, what? Three, two, what is that? one, zero. Look that, that's at that. Concord. That is amazing, what a plane. I saw this plane land, as I said, on uh, its last day of flight. Looked out the window of the farmhouse and I could see it coming into land. I wasn't near enough to go and see it actually touch down on the runway, but I could see it through the window of the farmhouse. And uh, as a kid, I used to see this fly over the farm regularly. Um, I think they built 20 of them, or 21 of them. We'll have a closer look in a minute, but um, we just stood here and let's have a look. Let's zoom in a bit. There's the old British Airways. Hill. Something about this plane is just quite magical, really. They oh, just just started projecting a story on the uh, on the front of the Concorde. Cleverly done. Let's go and have a closer look at the plane. There it is taking off. And um, back you go in your seat again, and the aircraft takes off like a scummy cat. Amazing technology for the time it was invented. This aeroplane was brought about in the 1950s, designed in the 60s, built in the 70s, and flown into the next century. It was fantastic. Let's have a look at these engines down here. Look at the wheels, there we go. probably means more to me than the kids actually because I've, I've seen this fly whereas they're just and then this is just a museum exhibit which is kind of weird that's what happens with life isn't it you you go through life see, seeing things when you're young and you don't realize they'll end up in a museum when you're older There's the engine <laughs> they're just happy running around all right what do you think? Be? What do you think that is? Engine. Engine, well done. Big, engine. isn't it? Hmm? Big engine. Yeah. Very noisy. Should we go upstairs and have a look inside? <laughs> <laughs> Playing tag by Concord. I don't think anyone who designed this would think that it would end up as a, in a museum like this with kids running around. Can you touch Concord, Jack? Nope. Go on, try. Touch Concord. 
can. Can you touch Concord, Harry? Look at that. No chance. Look at that. Can I touch Concord? Yes, I've touched Concord. That's the exhaust. Have a look at the back. Whoa. That's a big exhaust, isn't it? Imagine the heat coming out of there. Wow. You could put your marshmallows on there, couldn't you? Marshmallows, not marshmallows. Marshmallows. You can't say words sometimes. Marshmallows. It is marshmallows. No, it isn't. It's marshmallows. Marshmallows. It's not marshmallows. It's not, it's marshmallows. <laughs> It's not marshmallows. It's not marshmallows. Marshmallows. Oh, there's a marshmallows. Right, let's go upstairs and have a look. Camera there. The marshmallows. Oh, Burner. Boar. So there's various exhibits in here, which uh, we'll have a look. Well, I don't know whether we're looking there. You can have a look yourself if you come and have a look. We're actually going to go into the plane now. Here we go then. What's this? So this is when it last landed. Look, this is when it lasted. They wrote their names on the. Do you know what this is? 26th of November 2003. Right, do you want to have a look inside? Go on, go out to the. That's the autographs of the people. Wow. Look at that. That's the cockpit. Look at all those dials. Which one do you think tells There's you how... There's about a hundred in there. Yeah. Or more, probably Which one more. tells you when the toast is ready? None, probably. It's not very big, is it? It's not a lot of room in there when they're getting those seats. Three people, four people, four seats, look. One right there. Yeah. There's not in the sixties though, different then. Right, should we have a look down the main? There we go, you have a coffee there, look. Can you imagine Joan Collins just sat in here somewhere, probably having a martini? Wow, look at these seats. They're nice, aren't they? Wait, they're the, they just, they we don't It's not very big, is it? Yeah. Would you like to fly on a plane like this? Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't mind it. You wouldn't mind it, would you? Quite nice. Quite nice, yeah. So it's two separate cabins with a sort of gap in the middle. So there's no first or second class, it's all first class, isn't it? There's holes in all mm. yeah. If you go, go like that, Dad. So this is the idea of luxury in the 1960s, but I think the seats are a lot newer, but nowadays it would be a lot more glamorous than this. I'm sure this was of its day looked really cool, but... Uh, I don't know, oh, coat hangers. Not allowed in that bit, but um, no entry. Ooh. Full of pop stars and famous businessmen, or, or businessmen going off to New York and things. There we go. It's not massive, is it? Right. Here we go. Let's go out. So we've kind of done Concord now. We can go out this way. This way. Okay. So we've just done in, gone inside the, the uh, Concord. A Concord. Let's go and have a quick look. There's a museum in here. We won't long linger on here. But, uh, there you go. Little museum of all the stuff in Concord. We'll have a look around that, but I'm not going to film that. So we're going to finish off. There you go. The, I the, the iconic... Um, Harry wants to go to the cinema anyway. The iconic Concord. So do come and have a look at that. So we rate that quite highly, don't we? We're going to go to the cinema, Harry. Do you rate that quite highly? Yeah. Yeah. Recommended from Harry and Jack. You recommend it, don't you? Yeah. I wouldn't mind yeah. sitting on it. You wouldn't mind sitting on it. We're not allowed to sit in the seats, will we? That's it. That's our um, half-term trip done. There's okay. Three cheers, doors. guys. Back. One, two, three. Back to farming on the next videos, anyway. Wait. How are we getting that door? <laughs> well, I'm gonna go and work it out with Harry. How are we get getting that door? Bye bye. He's worried. <laughs>
Oh, I love it. I'm gonna fly the conch. 